All right, so hey guys, what's up? It's Bricks Glory here, and today we're going to be counting down my top five themes I'm most excited for in the summer of 2022. So let's get right into it. So at the number five spot is Lego Ninjago. And I am excited for this uh, season of the theme, but I'll admit I'm a little underwhelmed than usual because I usually love Ninjago. Still have two sets I'm planning on getting though. The first is Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike with the Jay in his new outfit as well as a crystallized warrior. And I really like this set. I'm, of course, Jay's my favorite ninja, so I'm super excited to have him in a new costume. The other set I'll be getting from this wave is the Crystal King's Temple. This has all of our ninja as well as a warrior and the Crystal King. And I think that this is just a really creative, cool build that we don't don't see too often from Ninjago. Honestly, besides that, as I look through all the other sets in the theme, they, it's just so much gold and purple that it turns me off a little bit, but I do plan on getting those two sets. Next up at number four is actually a surprise theme. That's Lego Harry Potter. Honestly, I recently bought the Hogwarts Castle and I thought that was gonna be my last Lego Harry Potter set for a while, but this wave has turned me around and there are two sets that I'm going to be getting. First up is the Hogwarts Carriage and Thestrals. It comes with Luna Lovegood and Harry Potter and obviously two Thestrals, a mom and a baby, which is so cute. And I absolutely love this set for $20. I don't even know if I, where I'm gonna put it, but I'm sure I can find space since it's so small. And this is just a great set. And then the second Harry Potter set is of course 12 Grimald Place. This thing is just beautiful. I plan on putting this in my city and I totally think it's gonna work. It's just a beautiful build. Of course, you get an, an amazing amount of different minifigures in here, as well as our first ever creature minifig. And this is just an absolutely beautiful set that I was not anticipating. And if you had told me that I would wanna get this, I would have said probably not, but it's beautiful and definitely one I'm gonna be getting. In third place is Lego Creator Expert, and I'm super excited for the wave this year. There's a bunch of cool stuff coming out, so let's get right into it. First up, we got Lego Optimus Prime, and I mean, this is such a cool set. Like, I'm definitely going to be getting it just because it's a cool set, but it's also cool, so cool that lego is partnering with hasbro to make this happen and so that's another reason to buy this awesome set next up is the forest man hideout gift with purchase and obviously this isn't a set that you can go buy but i decided to you know put it in here because it will be labeled creator crea creator expert even though it's a gift with purchase and it's one that i'm definitely going to go out of my way to buy sets that week to make sure i get and then lastly is the giant $350 rumored castle. And I am so excited for this. I'm a huge fan of Lego castles and I'm super excited that they're doing this. And I hope that this set's popularity will get us a castle theme back. And in second place is a theme that I bet will be a surprise to you and most certainly was a surprise to me and that is Mickey and Friends. And yes, I am hyped for the new Mickey and Friends wave. They have some amazing sets that I'm definitely getting. First up is the Carnival, which I love anything that Lego does with amusement parks. And even though this is little, I like that it's Disney themed and so I'm definitely going to be getting it. Second up is the uh, Camper Van, which I'm so excited for because it's a super cheap way to get that Pluto minifigure and that's the only Disney character slash friends minifigure that I still need and so I'm so hyped to be getting it in that cheap way and lastly is this castle and once again I love Lego castles even when it's four plus like this and then you got Mickey in his night outfit you got um Donald as a gesture it's just they have such cool fun outfits in this set and I absolutely love it and so while this is a giant surprise this makes the number two spot on the list I am hyped for the new Mickey and friends wave Taking home the grand prize is my favorite Lego theme of all time and the one I am most hyped for this summer and that is Lego Star Wars. And they are having a great, great year this year. And so yeah, let's get right into it. So first up we got BD-1, which looks beautiful. I'm so happy that they made a Jedi Fallen Order set and the fact that this is a BD-1. And I think that this is definitely gonna be competing for my favorite buildable character yet. And it's just a beautiful build overall. Next up is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, and I'm so excited for this. I mean, this is a chunky, big build with a cool interior and some amazing minifigs. I absolutely love the return of Inquisitors, and that makes this a huge hype set for me.
Next up is Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and this is cool for so many reasons. I mean, for one, we get our first ever Kaminoan and Tan Wee, and that is so cool. As well as it actually just being a very good Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. I really like it just for that. Next up, we have a dual set that's going to be between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi that we know is happening. We don't actually have pictures of just yet. And so I, I, you know, I'm putting it on here because I am hyped for that set, even though we don't have pictures of it yet. And then my most anticipated set of the LEGO Star Wars wave and most anticipated set of the year actually is the LEGO Star Wars ATTE. This is going to be $140 and have it's going to be so great. It's going to have Phase 2 Cody as well as a bunch of 212th troopers and it's an ATT. I've been asking for one of these for so long and so while we don't even have pictures yet, it is definitely the set I'm most hyped for this summer. And so those are the top five Lego themes I'm most hyped for this summer. If you agreed with me or disagreed, please put in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinion. And if you like this split video, please subscribe so I can make more videos like it and get bigger on YouTube. Anyways, with saying that, thank you guys so much for watching. Bricks Glore out. Bye.